Binary division is also found on page 137 in your digital book. And here again, I want to explain by starting out with a decimal number. If we take the decimal number 99 and divide it by 5, 5 goes into 9 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4. Then we bring down the 9. 5 goes into 49. 9 times. 9 times 5 is 45. Subtract. 9 minus 5 is a 4. So this would be a decimal. And then I would decimal 0. Bring down the 0 be a 40. I'm sorry. 5 goes into 40. 8 times. 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract. You have a 0. Now, 99 divided by 5 is approximately 19. And we can stop there. If we want to go past the decimal, then we would add a decimal point and then add zeros, and we would continue dividing until we came up with zero. We do binary the same way. If I gave you a binary number such as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, divided by 1, 0, 1, 0, I'm sorry, 1, 0 will not divide into 1. So what I do is I add another digit. 1, 0 will divide into 1, 0 one time. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. Then I subtract. 0 minus 0, 1 minus 1. Then I bring down to 0. 1, 0 will not go into 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. Subtract. You'll see that's, of course, 0. Bring down another 0. 1, 0 will not go into 0, 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. Subtract 0. Bring down another 0. 1, 0 will not go into zeros. So we put a 0 there. And this one was a little easy. So let's do one just a little bit harder. Let's take the number 1, 1, I'm sorry, that still might be too easy. Let's uh, let's go one zero one one, and let's divide it by one one. Now we know that one one will not go into one, so we add another digit. One one will not go into one zero, so we add yet another digit. One one will go into one zero one one time. One times one is one. 1 times 1 is 1. Subtract. 1 minus 1 is 0. This 0 minus 1, I've got to borrow from this. This will become a 0. This will become a 1, 0, which is basically what it is already, 1, 0. So 1, 0 minus 1 will be a 1. Then we bring down the 1. 1, 1 will go into 1, 0, 1, one time. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Subtract. And we'll have 0 and 1 again. This is where the decimal comes in. Decimal. Bring down another zero. One zero zero. One one will go into one zero zero. One time. One times one is one. One times one is one. Subtract. Zero zero. We have to borrow from this. This becomes a zero. This becomes a one zero. Borrow from that. That becomes a one. This becomes a one zero. One zero minus one is one. One minus one, of course, is zero. And then we bring down a zero. Now. We could continue taking this out past the decimal point until we equal zero, or all I require of you is to go to the decimal point, and then you can stop.